What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Ball VJ, and today I'm coming out with the best key blast sand build. Now, if you guys watch my live streams, you know this is my go to. Whenever I want to go, like, let's say somebody's cheesing against me and I want to win, this is the build I'm going to bring out. Now, anyways, you're going to want to make your attribute points just like how you see here. Do not worry about the low key and stamina points. You can make up with that using the QQ bang. But this is exactly how I have my female, my key blast female scene. Now, for your QQ bang, if you have a little something like this that can boost boost your health, the key, uh, stamina, key blast, super plus five, then that's basically what you're gonna want to need for this one. And if you have something better than this, then you're, you're good. As long as you have your Key Blast Supers boosted and your health, then you should be fine. Now, the Super Soul I run for this is power. A lot of power is great. It's Krillin Super Soul. In my opinion, I believe this is the best one in the game because it's, it just boosts your attribute points. Like, what's, you can literally start a build with no points and it'll be godly just like that. Okay, this is usually the moveset I will run because... A lot of people on stream try to cheese against me, so I have to do something to um, counter that. That's all this build is really for. But also, even if they're not cheesing you, that is pretty is a pretty good move set. One of my personal favorites, Punisher Shield. You guys got to put that on if you had a DLC. If not, then I can make a video on uh, a non-DLC skill set. I did think I did make a video on the best non-DLC moves, but yeah. Um, Katana Kamehameha times 10 as the strongest key blast super, so why not throw that on? Ultimate charge if you have that, or burst charge for real fights. Uh, I just have an ultimate charge because I play like a lot of parallel quests, so yeah. But if any, if you don't have neither of these, just put on maximum charge. But uh, for ultimate attacks, Kyle Ken times 4 super cheesy it's super fast you can just shoot it whenever you want to shoot it uh one of my personal favorites and emperor's dead beam because it's probably this it's the oh yeah it is the second strongest key blast super in the game number one is revenge dead ball but it's only by like 100 one to 200 points so yeah you can't go wrong with having that you guys and um for your awoken skill you don't have to have um super saiyan blue evolved i just had that on just because it looked cool and a real fight i would run super vegeta for this build Do not run that because running the super saiyan blue evolved you're going to run out of key super fast and there's a lot of good evasives in the game one of my personal favorites is vanisher guard but you can also use some like hyper movement fake blast dragon burn yeah there's a lot of them that's pretty good instant rise super front jump but uh, one of my personal favorites is Vanisher Guard because I know guaranteed as long as I'm in this evasive, I'm not going to be touched. It doesn't do any damage, but that's fine. As long as it protects me, that's what a, an evasive is supposed to do. It's supposed to get you out of something. That, that's the best thing. So, And also, like I said before, Hyper Movement is actually does a pretty decent amount of damage. Oh yeah, Absolute Zero can work as well. So. Make sure you guys go on and test those out. Now, what you guys are about to see is the amount of damage that this build can give out. And it's actually pretty overpowered. Make sure you guys raise your, this, your saying exactly how I have it right here. Especially if you have the Krillin Super Soul. Now, if you do not have the Krillin Super Soul, it still can work. As long as you have a QQ band, you can make up for some of the, um, you can make up for some of the, the lost attribute points. So right here, I'm going to show you guys the amount of damage that this build can do. Just a second. And also, make sure you guys tune in to the live stream. It's always lit, man. You guys got to definitely come through. Now, anyways, um, I will use Super Vegeta whenever I'm fighting competitively, at least. I'm about to show you guys what it would do with times 10 coming on me high. It should do about 10k. Yeah, 10k and some change. But yeah. If you were using 
a stronger form like Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, you would do a lot more damage, but it's not really good for fighting competitively. But as you can see there, the Kaioken Kamehameha times 4 is one of my favorite because you can you can just shoot it super fast and as you can see there, I just did 12k, almost 13k damage by that. So yeah, you cannot go wrong with this character. I'm about to show you guys what an Emperor's Death Beam can do. When, um, when using Super Vegeta, you could, oh, you can probably almost one-shot him. Like I said before, there are better super forms in the game, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Yeah, if you were using Super Saiyan Blue or something like that, you can one-shot somebody, but it should be close. Not all, yeah, okay, look, about 23,000. Now that's actually, you may be like, oh, I got a build that, that's better than that. But come on, 23k, if you're doing more than 20k damage to anyone in a fight, at any point in the fight, the fight's over. Like, if you're able to even land that move and hit, hit the fight's over, so, yeah. Once again, I'm going to show you guys the attribute points and all that. This is exactly how I have to read. If you have Krillin Super Soul, then... You're jumping for joy right now because this is perfect for you. Now, depending on your QQ bang, you might want to raise your attributes just a little bit different. Like if you have a plus five and key and stamina QQ bang, then you don't have to even you don't have to put any points into key and stamina. I might have to redo these stats and I will um, make another video. The reason why my stats are like that is because of the QQ bang I have. So remember, you guys, a QQ bang can really make a big Role, it, it plays a big role in your character creation so just just know that you guys i have plenty of qq bang videos on my channel you guys should check out the most recent ones so you can see some of the best mixes on stream well not on stream but it's from the stream so yeah once again that's the move set i would normally run for this and if you watch any of my live streams once again you can see the effectiveness because we PvP every single live stream, so you can see the real inside scoop and how these moves work and all that. But if you want an individual video, then I can definitely make that for you guys as well. Now, uh, that's that's pretty much everything. Just um, copy everything you see here and you should be good to go. If you're someone that, that doesn't care about PvP, then oh yeah, this is definitely fun to use when you're playing Parallel Quest extra missions and all that so yeah that's pretty good now i'm going to post every single build that i have on the ps4 i believe i posted all my xbox ones so yeah this is all my ps4 builds so yeah man enjoy um really not much else to say about it but just copy everything you see here but yeah um, if you haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on Twitch at 8BallVJ. That is where I stream on Xbox. And if you ever see me streaming on YouTube, I'm on PS4. So make sure you guys go on and check that out. We have recently hit 8K subs. So I appreciate everybody that showed their support. Man, it means a lot. Um, I don't know how to take all of this because it's... Something like this. This has never happened. I never had support like this ever in my life. So um, I'm real appreciative. I don't take anything for granted. Thank you guys so much. Because you guys definitely don't have to click on this channel. But you guys still decide to do show and, and show support. So thank you guys for that. Ah, uh, man. It's, it's been a long journey. I've actually been doing YouTube for years. You know, a long, like, like since 2011. And we're finally, well, finally getting recognized. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the, view, the build. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment, subscribe, and hit that like button for me, man. I'm A-Ball VJ, and I'm out. Peace.